snowstorm has officially begun. Looks like it's going to be a big one. Uh, the winds are supposed to pick up later today, so it may even uh, become a blizzard. And I'm just going down this back road uh, a few miles to find a place to hunker down. Everyone is trying to get out of here, but meanwhile, I'm going right into it. Uh, this van, uh, it has real 4x4 and I got KO2 tires on here. No tire chains, but uh, so far this road has been flat and uh, yeah, I feel safe going out here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens and how much snow comes down. So I'm sitting at 7,000 feet elevation right now and the latest forecast says there's going to be uh, 20 inches of snow over the next 12 hours. The goal is to uh, try and stay cozy, ride this out. I've got lots of food and water and uh, there's cell service in this area. Plus I have a Garmin InReach satellite messenger if uh, I need to use that. Uh, my firewood is all topped up. Plus this van has a diesel heater built in that I run overnight uh, when the fire burns out. But yeah, I'm starting to get hungry and I got some plans for uh, an afternoon snack here that I need to get started on. So the onion and garlic have uh, simmered. I'm going to add in some flour, beef broth, and red wine. I also need to add in some tomato paste, pepper, and Worcestershire sauce. Now the meat is going back in for a swim along with a couple bay leaves. I also want some carrots in here. This has got to be one of the best smelling concoctions I've ever done in the van. My mouth is watering right now. So that just needs to uh, simmer for an hour or two. However long it takes until it thickens up for me. Alright, so this is starting to get thick and gooey. It's almost uh, how I want it. So I have to move on to the next step, which is uh, making the short crust. So I have 
a cup of flour and a half stick of butter that I need to uh, cut down into small pieces before I start putting it in here. Okay, so now I have to slowly work in about four tablespoons of ice water. And now this needs to go in the refrigerator for about a half hour at least. Okay, yeah, I like the consistency of this now. I'll pluck out the bay leaves. And I want some peas in here as well. I'll give this a, a little preheat on the wood stove before I stick it in the air fryer. I'm going to air crisp this 350 for, I don't really know how long. Give it 10 minutes, see how that looks. This turned out absolutely incredible. Maybe one of the best meals I've ever made in the van. The meat is just so tender, full of flavor. Mm. It's five o'clock now. After I finish eating this delicious meal, I should take a walk around outside and see uh, what the snow conditions look like, if I can actually get out of here. Alright, so there's like knee-deep drifts blocking the road out of here and there's still like another three hours of snow and wind forecasted and uh, I just checked my phone, the, the highway out of here is officially closed. Um, I think I should maybe try to get back closer to the highway instead of like being way down a road that doesn't get plowed and uh, where there's not much to winch onto. Yeah, I think I should go now. <laughs> road is actually not that bad it's uh, it's wide enough that it's getting blown clear by the wind but just that little pathway I was down was uh, starting to get all drifted in so I'll just uh, find something closer to the road and continue riding this out Well, it looks like all that's left to do tonight is uh, just continue on with the hunkering down and hopefully I don't have to go Donner Pass on Rocco but maybe she would get me first but I've got over a week's worth of food in here and like an unlimited supply of water with all the snow around but if I ran out of firewood or diesel I've got all the cold weather gear so should be fine and uh, I'm optimistic the highway will be reopened in the morning so just have to relax and try to get a good night's sleep and we'll see what the, the damage is in the morning so I'll see you then. Yeah, I thought the snowstorm was going to be over by now, but uh, it just keeps coming and uh, it looks like there's going to be another couple hours of snow at least, but I'm hunkered down. This is uh, where I'm going to spend the night. Uh, I'm done moving around and worrying about things. I'm just uh, going to get a good night's rest and uh, we'll deal with it in the morning. So I'll see you there.
Yeah, that was a wild snowstorm. Uh, it was last year at this time that I was in this area that it was hit with a, a blizzard. I don't think this one was quite a blizzard. It wasn't windy enough, but a solid 20 inches of snow fell yesterday and it didn't stop till like 11 o'clock last night and uh, I was glad when it finally did because I could finally uh, get some sleep but yeah greeted with uh, an absolutely beautiful sight this morning with the desert all blanketed in a fresh coat of powder and the Sierra Nevada mountains are all uh, covered as well I'm glad I got that summit in uh, last week because now I don't think uh, it's gonna be possible to climb any of these mountains there's just way too much uh, fresh snow and the avalanche risk is gonna be uh, through the roof but I think the plan today is uh, just try to wait for the, the highway to reopen then head back down to uh, lower elevations and uh, thaw myself out <laughs> And the drive down from there was a little bit hairy, just had to uh, crawl along, but back down here in town at 4,000 feet elevation, everything is peachy, but I had a lot of fun riding out this snowstorm. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video as well. Hope everyone is doing good, and I will see you in the next one, wherever that is. Well, it looks like all that's left to do tonight is uh, continue on with the hunkering down, and hopefully I don't have to go Donner Pass on Rocco, but... <laughs> oh, it's so bad.